The life of a dragon warrior is all about winning the hearts of his fans and fight for their lives. Likewise, Poe has earned a lot of fans from the rescue missions and spreading love all around. He takes the talents and skills of a dragon warrior very seriously. While he is busy being the best dragon warrior, Master Shifu wants him to be promoted to the next level. He is now destined to become the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Therefore, he has to choose a successor for his post and leave what he has achieved over the years. He starts bargaining for the post because he doesn't want to leave his best self. But he must follow the traditions no matter what because Master Ugly also wants the same. He will take an interview the next morning with a display of their talents and skills. A few amazing talents showcase their moves and impress the audience. However, Poe still wants to be in his own position. He points at himself, but Master Shifu seems disappointed at his decision. He takes him to a sacred, quiet place close to nature to get an insight into the decision. He is here to get a clue from the supreme powers for the next dragon warrior. He tries to look for inner peace, but the voice in his head haunts his decision. However, another appearance distracts him from the focus and takes him to a dark room. It seems to be a squirrel who allures him to a fight. Poe is triggered when she calls her staff of wisdom the walking stick. Poe rushes to unveil the intruder, thinking that it is the mere squirrel playing with him. But she turns out to be the fox when she jumps off the place in a mesmerizing move of Olajira. She is Jen, who confiscates Poe with a chain and takes his staff. Poe tries to keep things in line by saving them from breaking, but she trips the antique piece. Finally, Jen is trapped, but she explodes a bomb of realization on them. She predicts the devastation of the Valley of Peace by a mysterious character. Jen doesn't clarify, but she seems to be a chameleon who can take on any shape or character. Therefore, it is hard for Poe to recognize the actual danger, but he sets out to find the small steps that lead to a more suspicious one in Jen. He takes her with him on the way to stop the chameleon. Master Shifu doesn't trust her, but he takes her with him because she knows about chameleons. The chameleon on the other side is ready to win the world on the blood moon. She changes to a giant elephant while on the table. In the meantime, Zhen and Po are getting closer to each other and become good friends. One more friend adds up to their due date, who is a parent goose looking for its child. They find a happy rabbit, Travin, on the way and stop by to enjoy a hearty meal. But it turns out to be a bullying point where the monsters are teasing them. They stab them with knives and threaten their presence here. Po and Jen try to get some help and understanding of the place, but the manager seems unwelcoming. Hence, Po finds a duck and a boat owner who can ride them to the other side of the city. While Po sets a deal for double rent, Jen is busy stealing the money. She cheats on several monsters and collects some coins. However, it was exposed soon and the whole train was behind her for betraying. Luckily, the entire place starts dwindling and moving back and forth. They find the chance to escape, but the howling monsters keep on chasing them even on top of it. Everyone rushes here and there, but astoundingly stops their breaths when Poe throws a mesmerizing push. Jen is shocked to see the movie and eagerly wants to learn about it. Hence, the violence stops for a few seconds and the whole rush starts again. Therefore, they stuck to a small bearing outside the swinging bar. Unfortunately, they can't hold the bearing and fall down. Surprisingly, their weird duck is already there with the boat. They chase chameleons through tough roads, and Poe is not brave enough to face the calamity. However, he still wants to do it for his people. The goose saves him from falling, and Jen accompanies him with her childhood stories. Finally, Poe reaches the destination after a nightmare. They get stuck in the hustle and bustle of the city, where no one cares for the newcomers. Poe is amused by the feisty smell of meals and street food. He finds it the best city in the world and thanks Jen for taking him here. Until reality pops out, and they see that the subordinates of Chameleon are hurting the local people. They are threatening everyone to bribe them with their hard-earned earnings. Also, Jen is wanted in the city, and when the crocodiles see her roaming around, the giant bulls put them in the cage and were ready to take them to a chameleon. But Jen is always ready for these types of challenging situations. 
A huge fuss was created and they started running behind her. Now, Poe is also a wanted criminal and they both have been chased. Rushing through the streets, popping into the carriages, sliding through the bridges, and popping into the crowds is their destiny now for the next few hours. Eventually, they reach the dark dungeon, where Zhen's friend weirdly welcomes Poe. They have always been waiting for their friend to come home, and now they are pleased to have him back with a few more friends. However, they feel a sense of danger, and some of them try to threaten Poe. He introduces himself, but no one knows him as the Dragon Warrior. Hence, it compels him to show them his ultimate power move. But Master Shifu forbids him to play any violent trick here because he wants him to settle in other ways. Po uses a proverb, but it never works. One of them knows the legendary Master Shifu, but not a single resident knows about Po and his dragon warrior's adventures. Hence, this disappointment allures him to have a drink, but Jen knows that it is poisonous, so she dropped it off and rescued him from burning his soul. In addition, she asks the turtle here for help, and he agrees after a little flattering. On the other hand, Poe's father rakes the happy rabbit Tarvin in search of his son. The goose also helps him to find a way and asks for a Poe from the manager. The manager, who is super furious about the fight, is raised here. She put the goose near the boiling broth and asked for the penalty which Poe had damaged. Poe's father enters and saves the goose while he threatens them to do any wrong to him. He tries to showcase his powers but ends up getting hurt by the splinters and breaking his teeth. The travel, once again, starts dwindling and a panic is created. Instantly, they leave the house and it splashes into the water with a loud thud. Hence, he doesn't get to know anything about his son. Poe is hiding in the dark room until the path is clear. Jen finds him a good leader with a kind heart. Poe also embraces Jen's friendship and gifts her the Lucky Judah Peach Pit. It is the luckiest peach pit from Master Ugwe from the heavens. Jen is in tears to get the appreciation and respect. He is all ready to challenge the chameleon tonight, but Jen is worried about him. Poe is eager to run every mile to save the Valley of Peace, so they end up tucking in the sleeping room of crocodiles. His father is looking for him all over the streets. Poe and Jen walk carefully among the dozing off monsters, but his slightest move wakes them up. Suddenly, they fall into the dark pit where Poe had been confiscated. A cage falls out of nowhere and Poe is encased. They try to get him out and Poe hands out his stuff of wisdom to her for pushing the cage up. However, her changes show her true colors and betray Poe. She takes his power weapon to the chameleon and reveals that she is the subordinate of his enemy. Poe is shocked that it was all a play. Jen was her apprentice during one of the stealing acts. Chameleon chose her to take the dragon warrior here so that she could rule the kung fu world. The crocodiles have trapped him, but he never misses a chance to showcase his skills. He dodges them all by running, jumping and thrashing. He survives the throbbing nails and locks them up. However, two of them still haunt him, but luckily, he gets rid of them by throwing them under the bridge. He squirts and is again betrayed by the chameleon when she changes her appearance to Zhen. She bargains for the life of Poe, but the chameleon is blind with power. Luckily, Poe finds a mini trunk to hang with, but a luring crocodile tries to throw him in the dunghill. Surprisingly, his friend Geese finds him hanging and kicks the crocodile out of the way. The goose brings his father along, and he saves his son from falling. They take the support of an abandoned point, from where they can see chameleon preparations for the ritual. They take the stuff to a sacred place where the blood moon is apparent. Chameleon can't wait for the full moon, so she initiates the spirit realm and welcomes the tigers. She uses the staff of wisdom in the wrong way for the wrong purpose. She compels the mighty tiger to teach her all kung fu skills. The tiger refuses and raises a magnificent fight. But the chameleon has mastered a lot of skills already. Therefore, she defeats the tiger in a few moves. She misuses the Poe's staff and calls other mighty monsters too. Jen finds it wrong and regrets her past mistakes. She goes to Poe to apologize and offer help. Poe refuses to believe her again, but her innocent requests melt his giant heart. They decide to fight Chameleon back, even though they know that winning against her is nearly impossible. 
Chameleon calls all kung fu leaders and puts them in cages. Jen reaches the old friends of Happy Rabbit Traven and makes up a team. Poe's father challenges the crocodiles and gets chased by a number of them. Poe reaches the chameleon and asks his staff for wisdom back. Chameleon throws it at him because she has gained everything she needs from it. Poe tries to change her heart and do good about the Valley of Peace, but she is exercised for a fight. She changes herself into a fierce beast and throws powerful moves at Poe. He tries to dodge her but ends up locking up in the cage. Jen reaches and Poe believes in her by giving the staff wisdom again. Jen proves himself this tie and throws a challenging move to Chameleon. She uses the stir, served, and stunk lamb. It proves to be a winning move and Chameleon is finally defeated. Poe gets out of the cage and calls it a method to give Jen a chance to show her excellent moves. Chameleon again tries to attack, but Poe takes charge this time. He stabs her face with his staff of wisdom and the luminous light brightens up all cages. All King Fu leaders are free and they bowed to Poe's bravery and courage. They ask for their farewell and Poe initiates the spirit realm once again. They take Chameleon with them while she begs for mercy. But Jen show her the mirror of her own brutality. Poe decides to choose Jen as the next dragon warrior. Master Shifu is shocked to hear the decision because he doesn't like the fox on such a high rank. But Poe's decision is final. Jen doubts his worth, but Po motivate her inner strength and get her ready to take the position. Master Shifu's inner peace has been destroyed by the Po's decision. If you like this movie, then don't forget to subscribe the channel.